Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh. Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You have three seconds till I pull. I better reflexes. When you're a martyr. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. The old industrial area. Why am I here? Only way forward. Weird. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I could manipulate their timelines, rewind them.
got to be another way in there. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to that chart the was the first sign. Negative. Monarch had built an entire PR, PR campaign to protect their reputation. Confession goes live in a matter of minutes. What about Jack Joyce? Once that confession hits the air, the whole city will be looking for him. He'll have nowhere to turn. He'll come to me tonight. At the gala? You're sure? Positive. Reaper Squad doing with those video cameras up in 83. Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. We blew the library to create misdirection. The media's gonna latch to that, and Amy's gonna tell them the protesters were behind the whole thing. I honestly think that's gonna be enough. Got a hell of a lot of noise out there. Well, you haven't seen Serene and Hatch work their magic. Eleven minutes after we left, I heard the cleaners had every bullet hole filled. Police have the whole campus roped off. But guess who paid off the police? Jesus. Looks like the only way out of here. There's got to be a generator around here somewhere.
There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship rant through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Conan harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized a place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. a follow-up confession. You got the script? Yeah, this one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we done sort of deal. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. Wilson! You, from the protest, what do you... I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. Check. Monarch's twisting the story for the media, claiming the protest went hostile and that we detonated the library. 
They're blaming you, Jack. <sighs> I'm Paul Scapegoat. This isn't good. Once that newscast goes live, the whole city is going to be against you. Nobody's going to have a clue what really happened. Do you think the others are okay from the university? I have no... Hey, it worked. It's not holding long. I don't think you're fast enough. That can be fixed. Side of the gate somehow. <sighs> Jack, you need to get to this side somehow. My God, you just, you're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in, these geared up soldiers that blink in and out. Okay, well, that's something to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. All right, my brother tried to explain. Time is an egg, which is now fucked. A time egg, which is, it's fucked. It's like broken, I, I don't know. What, what? Why is there an egg? <laughs> time is ending, Monarch has something to do with it. Get me to the dry docks, and I'll find out why. <clears throat> yeah, that should work. Wait here.
Martin Hatch, but everyone here answers to a guy named Paul Sophie. And apparently he founded Monarch in 1999. Now, here's the thing. Paul Serene is the exact name of a guy who was heading some top secret physics project at my university. So it's got to be the same guy, right? Wrong. All right. <clears throat> I heard that Monarch was there to steal the project from the university, but why steal something from yourself? <clears throat> also, I saw that guy Paul Serene on campus once, and he looked like 30 years old. So if you started Monarch in 1999, that would make him 14. So unless he's a Doogie Howser of corporate America, that's impossible. Banana fucking pancakes. So Paul founded Monarch. Need to get up to that open window. Yeah, that window's pretty high up, but I think it's the only way in. <clears throat> How about that window? <clears throat> Do you think you can get in through there? Is that another one of those rewind things? I'm starting to get the hang of this. Made it. Now to get to that door. Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound for- Hey, Clarice. Is that you? This is HQ Alpha. Charlie, I told you to stay off the operations channel. Sure, Clarice, listen. Hatch told me to search for Joyce. I've got footage of Bert taken out of Garden A1. Back of Monarch truck was left open. Now I'm checking cameras in A3 and guards are either sleeping on the job or, you know, not sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Catch my drift? Joyce. <laughs> With a trajectory towards kicking over some expensive-ass sandcastles. Look, I'm gonna keep looking for him. I'm just giving you a heads up, okay? Over an, over an hour or whatever. Finally. Good work. I need to make this right. I'm gonna use the terminal up here and try and dig up what Monarch's really up to. an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. And they forced me to do it. I, I know. Of Jack Joyce. There's nothing you could have like done. a terrifying scene down there. We really that appreciate map over there should help you going out on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Jack. You should take a look at the map. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah. I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. 
Okay, stay in contact. Find a radio. I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah, you too. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Weapons free! Did I scream enough for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Jack? I found a radio. You okay? Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up. Shotgunner advancing on hostile. Mother. You want to talk this out? I think it's idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. 
That's a start. Thanks. Soldiers I mentioned to do the teleporty stuff you do? Yeah. Hey, I just turned off security. Uh oh. Jack, they're coming your way. Yeah. I did some digging. This chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. The thing they stole from the university, this operation, everything's linked to the CFR somehow. What the hell is Paul up to? 